We're going to see more instructions for x86, but if you're ever interested in going and seeing all of them, you can always go get the manuals for Intel or from AMD. I use the one from AMD out of habit, and the one you want there is Volume 3, General Purpose and System Instructions, uh, specifically General Purpose Instructions. Those are described in Chapter 3 or Section 3, um, and um, that is an alphabetical listing of all of them. So you'll see there's a page on ad, for example, which is a signed or unsigned ad because they're the same thing. Uh, a notation note in the book and um, and on the slides we use the AT&T notation for x86 code because that's the one that GDB, GCC work with. Um, but the manuals are written in a different notation, the, the Intel notation, and unfortunately it's just backwards compared to what we're used to. So for example, you'll see this page says stores the result in the first operand location, whereas the notation we're using stores the result in the second notation. But if you just remember that things are backwards, then uh, for the most part you'll be able to read this. What you see on this page is more information than we usually care about uh, for this class, because it'll tell you that uh, ADD has all these specific variants with these specific opcodes. So for example, if you want to add an immediate number, to the AL register, it turns out that that's represented by the number 4 as a machine code instruction, and then exactly the uh, the byte that you want to put there. So because it's very common to want to put something in AL or EAX, there are short opcodes for that at the machine level, even though all the variants tend to look the same to us at the, at the um, assembly code level. Uh, let's see, you can also see the uh, LEA instruction, or the move instructions, or you'll notice that uh, SAL and SHL are on the same page, again reflecting that they're um, actually the same machine code instruction. And in SAL, I mentioned there were some uh, restrictions on the arguments. Uh, if you look at the page here, you'll discover that if you want uh, to provide the number that you shift by in a register, that CL is the only register that uh, is supported there. And then there are all these different modes, specific modes of different uh, operands that are implemented by different opcodes. So that sort of illustrates the kind of restrictions that we don't have to worry about so much when we're reading code instead of writing code, but you can always read more about them in the manuals.